Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on using levers. Now, when you're working with levers, you have to ask yourself, what do you want to accomplish? Do you want to move something very heavy? Or do you want to move something really, really fast? If you want to move something heavy, what you really need is a force advantage. Now, I have a lever set up right here that is going to give me a force advantage. And the key is putting the load, and I have a gray load of bricks here that I want to move. I want to move this, it's very heavy. So I've set up my load of bricks very close to the fulcrum. There's my triangle where the lever pivots. Now an arrangement like this, where the load is close to the fulcrum, is going to give me a force advantage. Now, this lever arrangement over here is not going to be very good for a force advantage. And the reason is, is that the load is very far away from the fulcrum. In both of these levers, I'm going to apply the force at the other end of the lever, right here and right here. But we better test this to be sure. So let's take our force in our red box right here. Is, uh, got some mass to it, some weight. So it's going to provide the force to lift this load of bricks. Now, let's see what happens with this lever. Well, it lifted those bricks right up. That's good. Now, will the same force be able to lift the bricks on this lever? Let's give it a try. No. This lever is set up for something else. It definitely doesn't work as a force advantage. We better try it just to be sure. Try it again. Let's put it back over here and run it one more time. And sure enough, our load of bricks moves quite easily. Now, the question is, what is this lever arrangement good for on the left? If this one on the right is for a force advantage, this one on the left gives us a speed advantage. And to prove it, I've got another force here. Now this looks about the same size, but really it's not. This force is more than 10 times the amount of the red box. So this is going to apply much more force. And just to really make sure that it applies a lot of force, I'm going to drop it from a little ways. So let's try it right here. And now my goal has changed. I don't want to just move this load of bricks. I want to throw this load of bricks so that it flies a long distance. Will this lever be good for that? Let's give it a try. Well, kind of. Let's try it one more time and see what happens. Hmm. Well, the load of bricks moved a little bit. Not very impressive. Let's go over here, though, and try our speed advantage lever. See if it's any different. Wow! There goes our load of bricks, and it was flew far enough to even make the other load of bricks fly. Let's watch that one more time. Same force, but Wow, the load of bricks really flies this time. Now the trick to a speed advantage lever is that a very small movement on this side creates a very big movement on this side. That's the exact opposite of our force advantage lever. So if you were, let's say, prying something up in your backyard, a big boulder, you can move that big boulder with this lever but you have to move this end of the lever a far amount. But with our speed advantage lever, you only have to move a small amount to get a big motion on the other side. Let's watch that one more time. So when it comes to levers, it's all about choosing the right lever. And when it comes to speed or force advantages, always ask yourself, where is the fulcrum? Is it far away 
from the load, then you're going to have a speed advantage. Is the fulcrum close to the load compared to where the effort force is applied? That's going to give you a force advantage. Now you just viewed an example of force and speed advantages with a class 1 lever with the fulcrum in the middle. But a class 2 lever always gives you a force advantage because the load is in the middle. And the load is always going to be closer to the fulcrum and on the wheelbarrow, the fulcrum is the wheel, than the effort force where you lift with your hands. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you can't adjust it. If you take the load and put it close to your hands and away from the fulcrum, it's heavier to lift. But I can make it easier by taking the load and moving it closer to the fulcrum. Now, the job is easier. A class three lever always gives you a speed advantage. You may not know this, but your arm is a class three lever. Your elbow is the fulcrum where it pivots. The effort force is from your muscle and the load is on the end where your hand is. Now using the stick just extends the class three lever. So if I were to put a load like this heavy steel peg on the far end, it's very hard for me to lift. Notice it moves quite a bit with just a small movement of my hand. That's a speed advantage. But I can make the job a bit easier by moving the load closer to the fulcrum. I'll just take this peg and move it here. Now the job becomes a lot easier. So always remember, if you want to make a job easier with levers, move the load closer to the fulcrum.